Hi everyone and welcome to the quick install guide of the campsite builder or CSB multi-site. So once you bought the script, the first thing you're gonna do is go back to the RoboScript site, click my account, sign in. Please read those lines in the yellow box. Then here you'll be able to download your script and create license keys. Campsite builder is right here. Okay, so for the CSB multi-site, you'll need to create two license keys, one for the CSB and one for the CSB multi-site. Once you have done this, you're going to unzip the folder you downloaded, click on it, select everything, and upload everything to the root of your domain name on your server. Once this is done, first thing I'm going to do is rename the ht access file, remove the dot back and make sure there's a dot in front of the name. Then I'm going to create an image folder. Then I'm going to click on CV Builder, config, CONF, and open the file which is inside dbconfig.php. This is where you're going to put your database info. Then you go to your server panel, you create a database. Once you have done this, you go back to this file and you put your info of the database in it. Then you save. Okay, once you are still in the CB Builder folder, you're gonna scroll down and open a file called installation.txt. Scroll to step four, and you're gonna see the URL you have to hit with your browser to run the installer. You're going to need to replace your site.com with your domain name, and then you're going to hit it. And you're going to see this. Site installation, everything should be green. Continue. You're going to check the DB connection. You're going to load the database. Once this is done, I'm going to ask you to write your license key, which is the one of the CSB. That's it. Installation is finished. Login, which is admin password by default. You want to change that later on, of course. First thing we're going to do is multi-site license. Then enter the license for the CSB MU. Select some site. Let's do Chatterbait, Lab Jasmine. You want to remove them, you click on it. They're going to go back to the left and you save. Oh, wait. I'm going to select the site even if you don't want to use it, please do. Make sure all features are unlocked on the script. Then I'm going to configure those two I have chose. Chatterbait, display. I'm going to put a dummy of code there. I'm going to do the same with uh, Live Jasmine. Select display. There you go. Click on main option. Click to chat with me. That's that goes on the big button in your galleries. This is a small number of thumbs 
on the index page from the visitors country so I'm gonna enable this here it's pretty much done I'm gonna go do the main settings so first thing is to put URL of your site without any backslash at the end unless I'm gonna keep default yes since I've chosen chatterbait I need to clean the database because otherwise it's gonna go so big then I'm gonna choose big thumbs live applet so the iframe different frame I'm gonna choose yes the bio and again the iframe that's worth it. Okay. Click on them. Select them. I'm going to select Romandeo, which comes by default. Then I need to start the aggregator. So I'm going to come here and click Start. And the last thing is to add the crown jobs. You got three. If you choose to use the... Uh, Twitter bot, which I'm not going to use now. Click on cron jobs on my direct admin panel. I think this one was every three minutes. So every three minutes. Paste the command there. Add. And the other one is every eight minutes. can see at the bottom that three and eight of my cron jobs were added properly. I'm gonna need to the units. This is the different models are until then I'm gonna see a them like this. Once the cron are running, I can go back to cron and I'll be able to see them growing. So when they're not at zero it means that they th these are all cron jobs of course but you with a fresh install you're gonna see zero when this then the zero start changing it means that the script is running so that's it that's more complicated than that uh, you're gonna be able to see a second video with the explanation of all and every function so uh, have a nice day